Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 17th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Going Into the Night, and our scripture is John, chapter 13. Now Jesus was deeply troubled, and he exclaimed, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at each other, wondering whom he could mean. The disciple Jesus loved was sitting next to Jesus at the table. Simon Peter motioned him to ask, who's he talking about? So that disciple leaned over to Jesus and asked, Lord, who is it? Jesus responded, it's the one to whom I give the bread I dip in the bowl. And when he had dipped it, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. When Judas had eaten the bread, Satan entered into him. Then Jesus told him, Hurry and do what you're going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant. Since Judas was their treasurer, some thought Jesus was telling him to go and pay for the food or to give some money to the poor. So Judas left at once, going out into the night. As soon as Judas left the room, Jesus said, The time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory, and God will be glorified because of him. And since God receives glory because of the Son, he will give his own glory to the Son, and he will do so at once. I always worried about that exchange of bread. Jesus dipped the bread into the bowl, gave it to Judas intentionally, and then John, an eyewitness, records that Satan entered into him. My mind goes to possibilities such as whether Jesus caused Judas' fall. Did Judas know what he was doing? Was he somehow duped into betraying Jesus? Was Judas just a pawn in God's game? But all of these questions work against free will. At the moment Jesus held forth a piece of bread to Judas, it was still an offer of friendship, one man holding forth the gift of sustenance to another. On a deeper level, the bread was the symbol Jesus had used earlier, the bread of life which was being offered. Jesus was saying, My life is in your hands, brother. This makes receiving the bread truly as Jesus' friend, or falsely as a traitor, a ball that was still in Judas's court. When Judas took the bread with betrayal still in his heart, it opened the path to his soul for Satan to take charge. Inviting that, Judas went out into the night. The epilogue to Judas's treachery could have been written differently had his heart been bathed in repentance for even thinking of selling Jesus to the religious leaders for 30 pieces of silver. Later, Apostle Paul would write about this moment taking place in the hearts of would-be followers of Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 So anyone who eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. That is why you should examine yourselves before eating the bread and drinking the cup. For if you eat the bread or drink the cup without honoring the body of Christ, you are eating and drinking God's judgment upon yourself. That is why many of you are weak and sick, and some have even died. It gives a whole new perspective on the importance of communion to think in these ways about the possibility of our own connection with Judas when we treat God's loaf and God's cup lightly. The opportunities are only two, life in the light of Christ and death going out into the night. For you today, Sometimes, Holy Week can turn our attention to details that miss the weighty center of what God is really doing. We can scurry around getting ready for the Easter parade, bonnets and colored eggs and such, when the real target is eternal life. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.